Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. So the question is, how do you find the geometric mean between two radical numbers? For example, 3 radical 2 and 2 radical 2. That is a very good question. Let's take a look at this. Whenever we're finding the geometric mean of anything, we write it as a proportion. And the way I teach it is it's lower left and upper right where the geometric mean quantity goes. In this case, we are looking for that, so we're going to call it x. And the other two things you're trying to find the geometric mean between goes in the upper left and lower right. All right, so we have cross products here. And if we look at our two x's there, we're going to multiply those together and get x squared. All right, now in the other case, these cross products give us this. 3 radical 2 times 2 radical 2. Alright, what do you do with that? Well, the question is really, how do you multiply two radicals together? So, here's what I'd like to show you. The 3 radical 2 is really 3 times radical 2, because when you squish a number and a uh, radical together, it's just a multiplication problem. And then we also have 2 times radical 2. Alright? Now the idea is the 3 and the 2, since we're multiplying, that gives us 6. And radical 2 times radical 2, let's kind of take a little time out here. Radical 2 times radical 2 is really radical 4. And you know the square root of 4 is 2, right? So effectively what happens is if you multiply two radicals together that are like radicals, in this case radical 2 times radical 2, the answer gets rid of the radical sign. So radical 2 times radical 2 is just 2. Alright? So if that's x squared, then of course what we have to do now is take the square root of each side, and our answer is going to be the square root of 12. Which is about 3.46. Now, in some classrooms and some teachers' and textbooks, you might need to leave it as a simplified radical. So instead of converting it into a decimal, you're going to take radical 12 and think of it as the product of two numbers. But you want to choose the number so that one of them is a uh, square number, a perfect square number. So radical 12 could be thought of as radical 4 times 3. Now, you know that radical 4, square root of 4, is 2, so that will go on the outside and the 3 stays inside the radical. So, 2 squared of 3. So to find the, the geometric mean between two numbers that have to be radicals, you just have to multiply the radicals out and be careful. Alright, I hope this video made sense. Alright, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.